Hi, welcome to another Save Your Books video. This one is about the book repair kit that I have available. Here we go. I'm going to go through every single piece in here and tell you why this is pretty much all you need to get started doing bookbinding repair. So for each one of the tools and materials in here, I'm going to tell you one or two things that they'll be good for, but there are other things that they'll be good for. So let's get started. Okay, so we're going to start with the book repair knife. It's a flat on one side, long bevel on the other side knife that's been shaped to be like a fingertip, rounded at the tip. And one of the main things you can do with it is when you are you have a, a cover of a book and if you need to lift up the edge of the paper, this helps you get in and be able to lift up really easily as you can see. Next up we have the bone folder which is made out of bone and one of the things you can do with this is you can um, change the shape of this using your your sandpaper that's in here if like the edge is a little rougher than you want or you want this to be even pointier or rounder um, you can actually change the shape of the bone folder but that aside this is good for folding paper and you know making creases and things here is a just a sheet of paper and just a little demo That's basically what bone folders are for, but there are, are other um, ways to use this tool as well, which you will see in many of the videos. It's like the whole goal of this um, kit is to give you things enough to try it out and to see the kinds of um, tools and materials that are helpful. Okay, next up we have the two brushes. One is a half an inch brush, good for glue or paste. And then this one, good for detail work. Next up we have the spray bottle. This is to fill up with water and is good to um, water down your paste so that it's the right consistency when you're using it. But also it can help the pages relax. Um, if you have a dog-eared page, it will help you to unfold that. There are some other things. All right. Next up we have the bamboo skewers which are good for pressing rods and these press into the French joints of a book to help make them function again after you've done some repair in that area. Okay, Next up we have just a couple of pieces of board that I've cut to be the right size to help you repair corners of a book and the bulldog clip that would help with that as well. And next we have the micro spatula. Very helpful for repairing corners of the book and other things. All right, this is a cuticle stick and this is really handy to help clean gilt um, lettering on old leather books that might be dirty or people have wiped things on top of them. Anyway, so that's what that's in here for. All right, next up we have the Statler Mars eraser and this is, it's an eraser but it's like a really good eraser. <laughs> I, I really like the white polymer eraser. You don't want to use pink ones or the weird gray ones, the inky what the ones with a lot of grit in them that can really just damage what you're working on. You just want to be more thoughtful about it and these white erasers are really good. Okay, next we have some SC6000. This is, it's like a, a wax that you'd put on top of things to seal them or to make them shiny and you have to be thoughtful about this so be sure to watch the videos that say like when to use this and when not to use this. Okay next up we have the nori paste and this is just such a nice paste it's useful for uh, removing the old glue off of books or reattaching a page or repairing a page and so lots of good things and it smells really good. 
Okay. And next up we have this sandpaper thing. So this is a cutting edge. You can use this to cut or like sand the edges of books like this. Like I had to make sounds to go with it. Um, but it's it's really great for, for just like if you have a page that's sticking out and you're not going to move it, um, you can just kind of clean it off by, by doing that. Um, and on the other side, so that's the 100 grit, and then the 320 grit is what you would use to sharpen your knife if it gets dull, and there's a video for that. And then I have a little extra of each one of those kinds of sandpapers so you can replace this. So you don't just have this, you have this as well. And um, this is also useful, the, um, the 320 grit, uh, both of these have an adhesive back. And so you can just pull a little bit off and that's been super handy to like just sand an area that you want to have cleaned up. It's nice to be precise with that. Okay, next up we have baking parchment paper and that is, you can rub through it when you have a delicate area that um, you don't want to you know, ruffle up or whatever. So you use the bone folder and rub through that. Or, you know, when you're doing page repair, super handy. Okay, and then we have the Mull, which has a million different names. Crash, Super, Tarleton. There are probably others. Um, I mean, you can just call it mesh. It's a weird mesh thing. Anyway, this is great for lining the backs of spines. Um, here's an example. I'm working on this book right now and I removed the old glue and then I put the mull on and now in order to help this book I actually have to do some sewing repair and I'm just going to go in and out of the mull through there. I don't have to take it all apart and completely resew the book. So that's super handy. It's the mull. All right, and then the muslin and muslin is it's an alternative um, liner, like if you didn't have mull, uh, you you know, that's a specialty item, but you can go to any um, fabric store and buy the muslin and you can use that like this, same thing. You can also use the muslin to help you create new spines for books. Let me show you that. For instance, on this book, this is a new spine and it's this muslin combined with a bit of some Japanese tissue, which I will show you in a minute. Okay, next up we have um, the papers and tissues that are in here. First we have the, um, this is, uh, there's a line of paper that uh, Talus carries called Antique End Leaf, and this is their Dove Gray, which is, happens to match old book paper a lot. So it's great, but they have other colors as well. Um, so I just gave you enough to, I don't know, could be a new end sheet, could be a hinge, could be a, a liner um, for the back of the book. Okay, and here we have different colored tissues. We have a, a black um, and a, a brown, and the black and brown are either going to be a, a Mariki or I think it's called Tengujo. Um, basically just a thicker kind of tissue. And then we've got two different samples of the Sakishu. One is the white, which is good for modern books, and one is the natural, which is better for the older books. And then I've got a, a sample size of the hinging tissue which comes in a larger sheet, um, but this is great because these um, these are perforated, as you can see, and I'll show you how they, they tear apart like this, and then you can use them like in, in place of tape. This is what you use, this with some paste to repair tears and pages and things. It has a lot of other uses too. Okay, and then we've got another tool. This is the Shadow Tracer. Um, it's a black board with 
mylar on top. So if you have a missing um, hole or a loss in a, in a page, you put that in, you trace some of the uh, Japanese tissue and make the same shape and then you can repair that loss with the Japanese tissue, um, specifically in this case, the natural sakishu. All right, and here we have chapter six from my book, Book Restoration Unveiled. Um, it gives a list of damage that can happen and the treatment options that you can choose for each kind of damage. So there you go. That's in here. That's a bonus. Oh, and now I'm at the, but wait, there's more part of the video here. And what I wanted to tell you is that this kit comes with three months of all access pass to the Save Your Books um, do-it-yourself videos with step-by-step -step instructions. So not only do you get all the things that you need to do what you need to do to your books, you also get the instruction and you can just go through all that, find what you need for your specific book and get going. Okay. Good luck with all your projects. Don't forget there's a student forum at saveyourbooks.com.